What's going on, guys? It's Mitch from RespectMyRegion.com. We're out here in Massachusetts, powered by Orange Photonics, checking out a little bit of the Massachusetts market and getting ready for Nikan here in a couple days. We just took a tour of Theory Wellness. I'm here with CMO Thomas Winstanley. How are you doing today, Thomas? Doing excellent. Thanks for coming by. I love that, man. Appreciate you uh, showing us around the, the facility. You know, we're inside inside the shop, but we just checked out the facility, um, getting to see what you guys are doing in, in the kitchen, in the extraction lab, in the grow rooms. You know, you guys are doing it all. Can you give me a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the, of who Theory Wellness is and, and the house of brands you guys got? Yeah, for sure. So we started in 2015. The first store opened in 2017. Our first production facility opened in 2017. We started as a medical company, so a lot of our early days were working with patients, creating products for patients. As the market matured, we moved into REC, um, and our expansion has continued. We currently have a facility here in Mass. We moved up into Maine. We're vertical up in Maine on the REC side. Um, just opened up in Vermont, and now we're actually getting back to some of our med days with a license in Ohio, one in New Jersey. And really the growth of the company comes back to trying to understand the marketplace, trying to understand where it's going, and trying to be relevant in that growth. I love that. And so having that experience coming from medical to rec, right, like rec, the excitement of recreational cannabis because it invites everybody to the party <laughs> yeah, is really sure. sweeping the country and especially the Northeast. I say this a lot. A lot of those eyes have been on New York and New Jersey, yeah, but you guys in Massachusetts have had a couple couple years to get this stuff dialed in. Yeah. What have you learned? What were some of those challenges coming from medical to rec and, and, scan, and thinking forward, thinking scaling beyond that? Because we obviously just toured the new facility, which you guys yeah. said you got to learn a little bit from the, from the sure. first, you know, from version 1.0. Yeah, I mean, we're very much about compounding knowledge. So, you know, a lot of the early days of med was low volume. We were the sixth dispensary in mass. We were the closest one in New York. Changed the game for us. We saw demand unlike anything. And instead of actually using that as something that was a overwhelming process, we leaned into it. And we took every opportunity to get better, to get better data, to learn more about our consumers, to learn more about this emerging market on the East Coast. And we started to compound that knowledge and then reapply it into everything. So our new facility is a cultivation of a lot of learning of what wasn't working the first one with the medical market. All of our main operations are a culmination of what we learned from retail, what we learned from lean manufacturing, what we learned from product development. And so we were fortunate to be able to make that transition into a much bigger ecosystem that we could then sustain. And we still keep that mentality today. Um, we still look at data sets about our performance. We are looking at sell-through velocities. We are looking at new trends of product categories that interest us, but not only us, but also interest our customers and our patients. And we keep that two-way dialogue for them to inform us so we can get better and continue to create the experience that we want in this industry. And that was definitely apparent through talking through yourself and everyone in the facility. I know we talked to Jeremy in the extraction lab. He was yeah, talking yeah. about how yeah. he used the Orange Photonics to, to look at what material he's sourcing for the input and then also testing it as he was doing runs. I know he mentioned to me, you know, over the course of a 10 hour run, pulling out different samples, testing it alongside the way to have that data and talking to yourself, uh, you know, we're, we're all marketing nerds here. And so, you know, we were getting real excited about you yeah. surveying customers and just understanding yeah. what products they want, what they're enjoying from products. Is it, and, and not only are they enjoying it, are they getting exactly what they want? So sure. what goes into just tracking data from whether it's, you yeah. know, the actual manufacturing to product development to then marketing techniques? Yeah. What, what, what are some of those things that you put into in terms of yeah. uncovering data and sifting through that? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it just comes down to creating a really good foundation that will educate you. So obviously everything can be looked at as a data point, but being judicious about what are the data points that are actually going to be actionable to increase a better experience. And that could be everything from transaction times in a store, adding a different, an additional sticker to a box and what does that do to labor. I mean, we look at as much input as we can without creating paralysis by analysis. And after the last few years, we've gotten a really good handle of understanding how do you find the right balance? How do you maintain quality and not cut corners because they're faster, but because you're going to still have a better product? That's a balance that's really hard to find and something that we've struggled with at times, but ultimately the data will lead the way and then it becomes a decision of is this the right change or is this the right input to evaluate in terms of what your desired outcome is. And that's something where we're constantly learning, we're constantly educating, but also being taught. We use surveys, as you mentioned, to get that two-way feedback where it's not just us telling the consumers what we like, 
We want them to tell us what they like. We want them to tell us what they want to see. We want them to tell us how we can get better at building a better operation. And that's never going to change in this operation. I love that, man. You gave us a little bit of insight of some stuff that's coming down the pipeline. I don't know if it's public information or not, but <laughs> yeah, what, what's yeah, some well, stuff you guys are cooking up with that's, yeah. that's new that you're excited about right now? Yeah, so, you know, right now we're, we're working on the second round of a, uh, something that we're calling the Sativa Project, which is a land race Sativa project that's really focused on ex giving exposure of our consumers to a type of cannabis flower that I have not seen out in the rec markets or in the medical markets. Um, and what we're really looking for is to find that original land race based origin from geographic regions that are not crossbred, that are not overly kind of bred out into certain desired outcomes. These are the real deal plants that are longer finish cycles, harder to produce, but we also think that this is the type of flower experience that people are looking for in a market. So we have a really exciting, we did a first run pheno hunt a few months ago. The second round was just taken down last week. Those are going to be coming into market soon. We've got some solventless projects coming up, which will be really exciting for the mass audience. I think those are going to kill. Um, and then we also are continuing to expand our beverage offerings too. And so, you know, we're, we're at a point now where we're, we kind of have a really great portfolio that we're happy with. And now it's a lot of it's tinkering within the existing portfolio. And again, you know, as much as we want to make sure we have products that people want, we also want to introduce people to products that they didn't know they wanted in the, as well. Man, I love that. Theory Wellness is working all around, vertically integrated out here in Massachusetts and other markets, man. But, you know, we're just out here at, at the start of it, uh, absorbing it all. Really appreciate you, Thomas. Mitch, respectmoreason.com. Stay tuned for more content from our trip around Mass with Orange Photonics and Nikan 2023, baby.